welcome. Hey, guess what? This is movie night. Not only movie night, movie week. And we have a guest today by the name of Jordan Smith. Jordan, welcome back. It's good to be back, Jacob. Yeah, Hello, you know Ruben what? Uh, and Ruben again. That's right. <laughs> and you know what? Uh, it's not, you know what? I just thought about it. It's not pot and deliver without Ruben or Jacob. Mm-hmm. See the pictures in the back of us? That's us. When we're I love kids. It. And oh, yeah, good looking kids. Anyway, that being said, um, we're, we're looking at Billy Madison today, um, Jordan. And it's 1995. I wonder how old you were in 1995. Maybe what, 10? I was years old? zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is way before your time, but it stars. Uh, Adam Sandler, uh, Billy Madison, and as Billy Madison, and you know what, watching this film, uh, again, directed by uh, Pamela Davis, I hadn't seen it in a long time, I hadn't seen it in probably five, six years, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, what am I watching, this is like, you know, just for like, but then I started laughing, and laughing, and just it being sillier and sillier, and the story takes, as you know, takes this young man, um, uh, who is going to inherit this fortune from his father and before he inherits his fortune his uh they come up with an idea that hey why don't you go back and do school again because it looks like the first time you did it you might not have done it correctly and go from like first grade all the way up to 12th grade and uh, he agrees right and so the movie takes you to that to the classroom from first grade to to uh actually up up to high school high school yeah yeah and then in high school he does like this uh academic decat not decathlon but it's sort of like decathlon it's a decathlon he says yeah Yeah. these events right and so, uh, but as it happens, you're just laughing when, as he's, you know, it, think of it, you know, Adam Sandler in a first grade classroom doing colors and, and having nap time. It's just uh, uh, hilarious. I want to say this one thing though. My favorite scene in the film is when this third grader, when he gets, when he gets a third grade and uh, uh, he had a little crush on the teacher, right? Adam Sandler, mm-hmm. uh, Billy Madison. And he has this boy call the teacher and say, hey, if you if you like someone in class, who, 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 who? it reminds you of back when you were a kid, at least, at least when I was a kid, and you had these, you know, you liked the little girl in class, you wanted to get to know her, you give, give her a call or have someone else call her for you. And it, was, it just played it perfect. And he played it just like a third grader, you know, and, and that's why I love this film is because Adam Sandler was a little boy in this film. And he just played it so well. And I just laugh. I mean, even though. Come on, it wasn't uh, you know Oscar performance or anything, yeah. <laughs> but it was just hilarious. I just laughed every bit of the way. Uh, and Nor- Norm McDonald also is in the film as one of uh, Billy Madison's friends, mm-hmm. and uh, I just love Norm McDonald, even though he had a couple uh, cameos. And then we have also Chris Farley who was in it as a yeah, bus driver. And classic he's Chris just, Farley. Oh, it's just you know when he gets angry, he's yelling or acting crazy. You just watch him explode where- whenever he's on camera. Anyway, this is a film, in my opinion, to watch and uh, one of Adam Sandler's greats. Uh, what, what did you think about it, Jordan? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely say it's one of those types of movies. I call them, and this isn't this isn't to be an insult, but it's a turn your brain off movie. You know what I mean? Like you will enjoy it five times more if you just don't question anything, don't think about anything, you know? Why is Adam Sandler in the first grade classroom? Don't think about it. Just look at the, you know, the jokes. I think it, it really does land a lot better when when you just sort of take everything as is. And, you know, if you like Adam Sandler goofing off, this is a movie all about Adam Sandler goofing off. I think every single scene is some like, you know, improvisational bit of uh, comedy, especially uh, in like the early elementary years when he's in the classroom like there's the one where he's like just licking glue and like you know he's, <laughs> he's huffing glue all the time you know so like every every single prop right I think uh is used really well in this film for some type of comedic um effect and he plays well with the ki- other kids too right I mean he just he gets right into it with him so that's great yeah the, the kid actors especially oh, I forget what the kid's name is but the one in in second or third grade I think that Billy really befriends yeah I think he had, like the bullied kid that he like sticks up for he's a great he's great in this film he is um as for a child actor you know for second third grade I think this is a first in movie history where the word great and film were used in the same sentence in describing Billy Madison <laughs> Gentlemen, this is a dumb movie. And, and if I were to say, uh, do you, if you were to ask me, do you recommend it, Ruben? I recommend it if you want to kill your brain cells slowly. And so um, this is a way, you can go to the bar and drink 20 shots and watch <laughs> this movie. Um, this is bad, 
Um, but but I agree with you. It's the bad in which you need to lay down on the sofa and just after a long day and just turn it off. I totally agree with you there, Jordan. Um, because I have to admit, there are there were times when I laughed in this movie, um, including a great bit with Steve Buscemi, who comes out of the blue as a mm. cameo <laughs> role, where Adam Sandler calls him and he goes, he tells him. I bullied you because you know he he knows what it's like to be yeah. bullied now. Um, I I and he so he calls up the this friend of his that he bullied as a child. You know, I'm sorry. But Shami goes, I don't even remember. I don't even know what you're talking. You know, <laughs> and then he hangs up the phone and he crosses off his uh, Billy Madison's name off of people I'm going to kill next. <laughs> so he crosses his name off. Very funny bit. There's a bit where the where the um, where he encourages his classmate to to pick up to he he just tells his class forces his classmate to call the teacher because she's pretty cute to hey you know set me up with on a date with with her and he's where he's trying this kid's trying and it's such a great piece of dialogue yeah. and then he he fails but it's so funny to hear Adam Sandler say you blew it and it's it's wrong to laugh at this. <laughs> there is a a student in the class. I mean, what these are third graders who could barely decode and read. And the sun came out at, 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 at twelve. Come on, any day now, Junior. <laughs> and he starts laughing. Come on. Yeah, you have to laugh though. Come on. And how about the dodgeball scene? I just love that he's just pegging off all these. Kids. <laughs> it's, he's throwing the ball pretty good at him and they're just taking it all this is you're right Ruben it's it, it's it I even wrote that down too you know a lot of my brain cells although you would probably would agree that's happened sooner you know burned down or burned out and uh but it's but it's it, we just had so much fun with it so much can, fun. can I just one piece of dialogue too I guess yeah, I'm yeah, writing yeah. it because it's I'm <laughs> commenting on some of the good bits I did not like Adam Sandler's voice it, it irritated me however mm -hmm. the bits want out uh, the academic decathlon of which you referred, Jake, at one point, Billy Madison says something outrageous in his answer. And the principal says, Mr. Madison, what you said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have. The ever monologue, heard. yes. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. And I think as teachers, he says, we have... a simple wrong would have done just fine. <laughs> I think as teachers, we have all felt that way at least once yes. with a kid's response yes. too. And, you know, just to be able to like hear that monologue be read out and be like, wow, you, you, you spoke our voice for a second. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. So I guess, well, before we uh, close it out, any, any other uh, thoughts or ideas or things that came out of the film that you guys wanted to share? I our, think our, sounds, sal, our brain cells are dead. It sounds yeah. like uh, it's, there's, uh, there's not there's not a deeper meaning at all to this movie, <laughs> it's, and that's both a good and a bad, right? right. You if you want to have fun, go ahead and take it. If, yeah. Go ahead and see it if you you know want to take it too seriously and enjoy another Adam Sandler film. With that, we want to thank you for coming on Pod and Deliver, and uh, thank you, Jordan. And we will see you all soon. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye.